Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you the most updated way to use navigation in Jetpack Compass. Last year, I published three videos for this in my channel uh, to navigate from one screen to another screen and to pass data from one screen to another screen. But the way that uh, I showed you on that video was the only way that we could use and it was such a pain. Uh, we need to uh, write a lot of code, a lot of introduction uh, to pass data from one screen to another screen. But now, using uh, the most updated library officially published by Google, we'll make everything so easy. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that library. Be with me till the end of this video to get familiar with this topic. Let's get started. Before I start, let's have a short review on the previous method of uh, sending data or navigating first between the screens and sending data from one screen to another screen. Uh, in the main activity, I used to create, I used to call a composable, as you can see here, and in a file uh, that I was created for the navigation, I had this uh, uh, composable. Here, we needed a nav controller, then a nav host, uh, introducing this nav controller to this nav host, and uh, we needed a, a start destination, uh, a string type, just like this. Then, for each screen, a composable. Introducing this uh, route to this composable, and then this composable uh, was attaching this route to a screen for us. And if we wanted to send uh, a data from one screen to the other screen, uh, we needed such thing: nav controller uh, dot navigate, and then uh, we needed to introduce the route name then uh, the data and here in the graph we had to add the road and then these arguments here then calling the argument a list of them and for each item that we wanted to send from one screen to another screen we need this data a name a type if it's nullable or not and if it's not nullable, a default value, and etc. And it was a long, long story. And now we don't need to do uh, any of them. Okay, here I have a simple project. Let's get rid of these things. And let's go to the library. Uh, in the library version, if you don't know where is it, it's here. Uh, we need to add the dependencies. Uh, we need these two lines. You can find the full project in the uh, repository in my GitHub. And you can find the link to it uh, down below in the description. We need these two lines here. And then these two lines here. And then this plugin for the serialization. Okay, so... Uh, navigation compose serialization here that json and this after adding this sync your project then come to the build.gradle.kts modular app here on the top we need this uh, plugin and down below we need these two lines navigation compose serialization.json and uh, the project is ready to use. Let's go to the main activity. You can implement the whole navigation here in the main activity. And if you want, also you can use my way to have a separated file for the navigation. I think it's uh, better because it's more clear. So nav or navigation, let's call it navigation. Uh, let's change the name my nav is better okay uh, here right click new cut class or file 
here uh, nav graph inside of this uh, nav graph i need a composable so add composable a function calling it uh, my nav okay let's zoom and uh, this my nav is this one okay here we need a value for the nav controller nav controller uh, equals to remember nav controller then we need a nav host uh here we have four types of nav host one of them uh, is uh, with the start destination uh, k class kotlin class type the other one start destination a string the other one doesn't have a start destination the last one the start destination of type any uh, we need this one with the k class this one is the new library that uh, came to help us the nav controller is the same so we just need to introduce it to it and then the start destination uh, should be a class or kotlin object so here annotation serializable and then object and let's call it uh, uh, home it's home screen let's call it home then here home okay and now we have the start destination now here composable but we need to change this instead of parentheses let's use this bracket import the composable okay so uh, this composable will attach uh, this object to a screen for us we can either here have a text uh, and write home or we can create a composable a full screen and uh, here just write the name of that screen let's do this uh, right click new Kotlin file and home the screen we don't need this okay uh, add sign composable uh, function home the screen okay i can use this but later i need a button to navigate so let's have a column here and uh, make it feel max size vertically center and horizontally uh, center that's it let's pass it to the next line and here it takes is enough a yeah, home is let's import it a bit increase the font size Uh, 32.sp alt and enter import and that's it uh, now in the graph I'm going to call this uh, home screen that's it now this object by the composable is connected to this home screen 
So we should be navigated directly uh, to this home screen. Let's check if it works. Okay, we are in the home screen. So the nav controller and nav host uh, is working perfectly. So if you have another screen and just you want to navigate from one screen uh, to the other screen, you can use this uh, serializable uh, object for that as well. So another serializable, another object, and let's call it detail, uh, like details screen. Again, a composable. Why profile? Detail. Detail screen. Let's create this uh, detail screen again here. Okay, here as well, we need a text to show that we are in the detail screen. First, the composable, then a function, detail screen, a text. Let's have a box here. Fill max size and alignment. Content alignment equals to alignment center. Uh, that's it that's it let's check it oh sorry sorry uh, still we need to do something here okay here in the home screen let's add uh, a spacer below this spacer we need a button Okay, here the text, go to detail, and here we need to implement the navigation uh, logic. Uh, in the home screen, we are going to pass the nav controller, and let's go to the home screen, we need the nav controller of type of nav controller. Let's import it. And now here, in the on-click block, nav controller dot navigate to detail. Uh, we just need to call this object. Okay, let's check it now. Home screen, go to detail. And we are in the detail screen. So the navigation works perfectly. Now let's go further. Uh, I want to pass uh, two uh, uh, variables from a screen home to a screen detail. What to do? First of all, instead of this object, we need to uh, make this detail a data class. And then here we can pass... Uh, as many as you want uh, variables so well name of type 
a string let's make it nullable and age let's make it mandatory uh okay so inside of this home screen uh now this detail is a data killer so we can pass uh the name and the age to it so name can be Mohsen, my name and age 25 that's it uh now we pass this uh data to this uh data class uh, and here we need to uh, take data from this data class and load it and send it to this uh, detail screen for this i need a value let's call it args equals to it which is the return uh, variable of this block dot to route and here detail okay all right and uh, now i'm going to pass name equals to args.name and age equals to args.age we just need to create these two variables in the constructor of uh, this detail screen let's do it here we need a name of type a string and uh, age of type integer and now here uh, name and age um okay here it should be nullable and there is no error now let's check it home screen to detail screen detail screen name mosen age 25 and that's it simply we pass the data from the home screen to uh, detail screen using this method okay guys that was whatever i wanted to tell you about the navigation i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you want you can buy me a coffee through the link down below in the description have a good day. See you in next videos. Bye-bye.